So the FDI team reached out to me and asked if I'd give an entrepreneur's perspective on the value of being strapped to the mast with like-minded investors. And I said, absolutely. And then I went and immediately Googled the origin and meaning of being strapped to the mast, only to discover it was completely different than what I thought and how I'd used it for years. But uh, the good news is I think it still works. I think it fits and I know that I learned something. And so here it goes. So this all comes from that 14,000 line poem called The Odyssey, Homer's Odyssey that none of us have actually read, um, but we know some of the tales. And one of them is this: the, the wandering protagonist, the hero of the story, was going to be sailing by sirens. Again, Greek mythology, these are the creatures who sang a beautiful, irresistible song, luring sailors to the death, right? So um, the hero though he um he had a plan he filled his sailor's ears with beeswax and had himself actually tied to the ship's mast so that he could hear the song without being giving into that temptation and endangering the vessel so as they approached he did in fact hear the siren song and could not resist and begged to be untied but since he'd instructed his crew to ignore him they refused his pleas, and the ship was able to sail safely past danger only because of his healthy respect for temptation. So today, in representing entrepreneurs, um, I'll make the very obvious reminder that yes, we go on long, treacherous adventures across oceans. Uh, these oceans are filled with many dangers and many obstacles, and it's it's easy for us to think that the threat of running out of our fuel or capital for the journey is the biggest problem. And other times we think that the many competitive pirate ships swimming around our market uh, are the biggest problem, just to continue taking this really far. But the temptations and distractions of ourselves, our ego, the chasing after and pursuit of money and power and fame and success and growth for the sake of growth. These are just some of the many sirens in the water singing beautiful, tempting songs to us as entrepreneurs. And it's hard because we're trying to take care of our employees, those sailors that are rowing the boat and trying to care for them and, and make sure they're not distracted by all of this. But what about us as the entrepreneurs? Who is there to help keep us from chasing after all of these temptations? Well, as faith-based entrepreneurs, we have a different destination and a different definition of success of the journey and a different strategy on how we're going to get there. So for us, that idea of joining God in the renewal of all things, picking up our cross daily and following him, that is is our mast. That's when it kind of all connected for me of, yeah, being strapped to our mast and picking up our cross daily to follow Christ. That is the invitation uh, to our investors is to join us in that. Now, I was going to talk at first about all of the amazing things that having like-minded investors has done, has made a difference because there's so many stories. It, you know, I I think of the time that our investors showed up in Kathmandu, Nepal with a frozen turkey literally in carry-on that allowed us to, to go ahead and to have a, a turkey dinner for Thanksgiving in Kathmandu or the time that they flew over from the States to, to again to Nepal with hundreds of pounds of cheese or that you can't get there. Um, or the time when we were living there and um, my daughter was, I, I couldn't sleep and I let slip that I just wasn't sleeping because my daughter was teething. And, and so a few days later, um, teething biscuits FedExed to Kathmandu, Nepal uh, at like a hundred dollars to like ship a $2 box of teething biscuits, you know, arrived. And I can go on and on of the love and the care, the deep relationship and partnership that has made a huge difference as an entrepreneur. Uh, yes, it is lonely. And yes, having people with skin in the game as fellow believers 
who have been on or at least seen and helped navigate similar journeys is absolutely invaluable. Um, but I think in really taking time to think about this and pray, more than that is the accountability and support to again, to pick up our cross daily and follow Christ, to seek first the kingdom of God. So above all things, keeping our eyes on Christ and picking up our cross to deny ourselves is absolutely bigger. That That's what I know I have needed and continue to need from investors, from like-minded investors that are strapped to the mast or strapped to the cross with us. Um, that's that's the biggest thing that I'm looking for, and I believe other faith-driven entrepreneurs are as well. Mm -hmm.